Good morning guys, thank you so much for watching this video and clicking on it. In this video, I would like to talk about how to start filmmaking. This video is definitely going to be for um, the beginners and the people who just are trying to get into filmmaking or photography. I did get a lot, a lot of questions on how to start filmmaking from zero, so this is what this video is going to be all about. First things first, I would like to thank Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. I am currently using their music that you guys are hearing right now in the background. Um, Epidemic Sound is a website where you can get non-copyright music and um, there is such a variety of choices. You guys can use it for all of your social media platforms without getting copyright claimed, like on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram. But for those who do not currently have a budget for music, I will be getting into that further on in this video. So yeah, please do enjoy. So the first thing I do want to address is how I got into filmmaking. I started photography when I was at a really young age. I was 12 when I started photography as a small little hobby. And I want to thank my uncle and my dad for teaching me all the basics that I know today and all of the tricks that I know today. They were the masters and I was just um, their student. And then I went into many small jobs. I did many small jobs for friends, for acquaintances. And the first big job I say I got was at a production house in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, where I grew up. I interned at the production house, I think around 17 or 16 and a half. They focused on doing a lot of commercials and I was lucky enough to be able to take the BTS or the behind the scenes of the whole shoots. Um, and I would like to show it to you guys today so that you guys can see the difference between my old work and my new work. Just so that you guys know that it's never too late to start and it's never impossible to improve. Enjoy! So yeah, that was uh, one of the BTS that I did for them uh, for the production house and I hope you guys enjoyed it. As you guys can see, I needed a lot of work back then and I think I still do. But I am, like I said, trying to improve myself every day. So enough about me, I would like to go to you. A lot of you guys have asked me how to start filmmaking from ground up, from zero. And I am just here to tell you guys how. Okay, so one of the most frequent questions that I get is how do I start filmmaking when I don't have any professional equipment or don't have any money to get professional equipment? What if the only thing that I have is an iPhone? So I know it's easier said than done, but seriously, just start. If you're just starting out as a filmmaker and you have limited equipment like a phone or a simple camera, my advice to you would be to go out and shoot as much as you can, shoot as much as you want, and learn new compositions, learn new angles, try out new things, and try out new lighting techniques. Everything that I've learned today about filmmaking, I've learned it from the internet, I've learned it from YouTube, 
I am in a film school, but before this, before coming to film school, I did learn everything from the internet myself. A channel that I would definitely recommend on YouTube is Aperture, A-P-U-R-T-U-R-E. They have great lighting tips, they tell you how to light certain scenes and how to play with your lighting so that the mood comes over correctly. I find them really really good, so that would be one of my suggestions for you. To give you guys a little push of motivation, I decided to take a few videos uh, in Seoul to show you guys what it's like to take a video with an iPhone and to show you guys that it is possible and that you don't necessarily need a professional camera to take videos like these. So now that you got your basics down, the other question would be, how do I get into the film industry? Okay, I'm gonna be telling you guys from the very beginning. The film industry is a pretty tough industry, but it doesn't mean that you guys can get in. I am, however, still trying to climb my way up this filmmaking ladder and trying to get into the film industry, but I could tell you guys how I got there. Even though I'm still trying to climb up the ladder, I can tell you guys a few steps that you guys could also do to get into the film industry. So what I personally did was I looked on Facebook, I looked on websites in my area for no budget projects, for low budget projects where I could just, you know, have the freedom to try out my camera skills, try out with new actors, get to know people. And you never know, you know, sometimes you get the contacts from other people and it works out in the end and you get another project. So I'm not sure how it is in the rest of the world, but in Germany we have a few websites that I definitely could recommend. And I'm going to say this in German for my German followers. Also, als ich angefangen habe mit Film, habe ich immer auf Facebook geguckt. Da sind immer sehr viele Facebook-Gruppen ähm, mit Film machen, die immer neue Projekte posten. Entweder no budget projekte kleine Projekte, vielleicht manchmal auch große Projekte, wenn du Glück hast. Ansonsten habe ich immer auf Crew United geguckt. Da sind auch sehr viele seriöse no budget projekte ähm, kleine Projekte, ähm, Uni-Projekte zum Beispiel. Und es gibt eine neue App, die ich letztens herausgefunden habe, ähm, die heißt Paz, p -A -Z -Z. Und da sind auch sehr viele neue Creators, die auch ihre Projekte posten und Leute suchen, die halt mitmachen wollen. Don't worry guys, I'll be putting all the links that I've mentioned today in the description below. So the last but not least question that I do get very frequently is how do I get inspired, where do I get my inspiration, and how do I stay motivated? So I would mainly say that I get my inspiration from Pinterest, but I do get it everywhere around me. I get it when I walk on the street, I get it when I watch my TikTok, my Instagram, I get it from other creators. There is a saying that ideas come from other ideas, and that's exactly what it is. I always try to see what other people are doing and try to kind of like do it in my own style. Try to like take an idea from their video and say, okay, that was a good idea, but I think I want to make it like my own. I want to change it. I want to improvise it. I normally don't take the whole idea. I just take a very, 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 very small part of their video or like or their idea and I change it to be my own. I get a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest nowadays because Pinterest is also really great. Um, once you click on something, they kind of like already know what you're looking for. So the next time you open Pinterest, then you see all of the recommendations that you kind of like wanted to see the last time you were on Pinterest. And it's all different things, it's all different ideas, but somehow in the same theme. So that would be my recommendation to try to get inspiration from other creators, try to get inspiration from everywhere you go, whatever you see, you can try to like change it into your own kind of certain kind of like idea. Like for example, sometimes I see like a still, like a still photo 
from a movie that I've watched before on Pinterest and I think to myself, oh, that could be a really cool scene if I kind of like pulled it, you know, to be longer. So for example, from that, I kind of make it into my own scene. I try to tell my own story just from that still photo. So that's kind of like what I mean. I hope you guys understand what I mean. Um, but yeah. And I try to stay motivated with the inspiration from other people and from other creators. That's how I stay motivated. And I think to myself, if I don't pursue my passion, then there is nothing else that I kind of want to do in this world than this. Obviously, I do get tired sometimes. I do get lazy sometimes, like everyone does. It's normal. Guys, it's really normal, so don't belittle yourself for it. Don't blame yourself for it. It's normal. Every creator goes through an art block, a creative block. They go through this phase where they're just tired and a bit burnt out. But that's normal, guys. Just know that that is normal, and please do not put yourself down if you guys think that that's not normal. So what I normally do when I feel a bit tired, I normally take a break for one or two days. It can even be a three days or a week. I take a break from whatever I'm doing. I let it sit, I let it settle. And when I come back, I feel much better. I feel more creative, I feel more innovative. And I think I would recommend the same to you guys. So guys, I really hope this video helped you out and um, thank you guys so much for watching this video until the very end. I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'll probably be making a part two on how to start filmmaking and um, giving you guys more tips. Until next time!